Welcome to Sissinghurst, a garden created by the poet and novelist Vita Sattvo West and her husband Harold Nicholson. And they made it really from, uh, I suppose, 1930 to about 1960, a period of 30 years. And it was a completely combined effort. Harold very much the person who did the design and Vita the planting. They lived in the most extraordinary way. Vita would write in the tower and they would both have bedrooms in the south cottage. They ate in the priest's house. And so the garden and buildings are completely integral to each other. And I think that was something at the time very new and unique, this sense of a room outdoors, which the garden here at Sissinghurst feels very much like. Harold was very much the sort of designer of the partnership. So here in the top courtyard, you can see some of his triumphs really, and testament to him as his skill as a designer. Long vista here, east-west, other vistas going north-south, really stretch the garden. Yet when you walk along them, little opening, little geometric rooms reveal themselves to you. So it's a wonderful piece of, of design, in, in my opinion. Here we are in perhaps Sissinger's most famous uh, room, the White Garden, or as Vita called it, the Grey, Green and White Garden. And I think that's significant actually, that slight subtle difference, because it wasn't just all about white, it was about something a bit more complex actually. They also experimented here with blue and also some pink and soft yellow as well. And colour really was the main thing that interested her. It wasn't about, for instance, placing a big leaf plant next to a, a narrow, strappy thing. It was about the tonal differences of the colours and the texture that Vita was so interested in and what we're trying to continue with here today in the White Garden. For 15 years Vita was gardening correspondent to the Observer newspaper and she would always really talk about the things that she was doing here at, at Sissinghurst, uh, things that she was experimenting with and I think readers really connected to that because they were learning at the same time as she was learning. She always called herself an amateur gardener, amateur in the best sense of the word, a lover of things. And so she was really at the pinnacle of really setting the way that we as the British nation started to garden. The planting them itself is very homely, very comfortable and something that we can all try ourselves at home in our smaller plots. Sissinghurst um, was left by Vita and Howell to their son Nigel uh, Nicholson who then gifted it to the National Trust. And the story goes that there was a huge amount of effort needed to convince the National Trust to actually take it on at that time. And it only came to the Trust by, by one vote, which is really incredible to think now. It's one of our most treasured gardens. It's an iconic uh, garden across the world. But we're also very lucky because Vita, two years before she died, employed uh, joint head gardeners, Pam Schwert and Sybil Kreutzberger. Uh, and they remained at Sissinghurst gardening and living here for over 30 years. Um, Sarah Cook, the next head gardener, worked with Pam and Sybil and I worked with Sarah. So that continuity of ideas and sensibility about the garden is very strong and it means that hopefully the way that we garden today is, feels very authentic and in tune with, with the way that Vita and Harold gardened at Sissinghurst. So here we are in the, uh, the Greek island of Delos, or, or so we want you to believe. But Harold and Vita went to Delos, I think in about 1932, and they came back and wanted to create something of what they saw on that cruise. And what happened is really, really that garden didn't survive that Harold and Vita made. They were amateurs, and so they didn't understand that the soil really wasn't suitable for those plants, and the light levels either on this north side of the garden at Sissinghurst wasn't conducive. And so slowly that garden kind of died, the planting palette, and the stones were removed for other purposes around uh, the garden. And so really when I came back here as head gardener in 2013, we set out a seven year piece of work really to try and put back some of those elements that we felt had been lost. And I suppose the major and last part of that, of that work was to bring back Delos. Uh, 
not to have it would be as significant as not having the white garden or the rose garden. We undertook research uh, and then created this space that we're in today. It very much takes its cue from what Harold and Vita did. The key differences are we hope by the work that we've done to the soil uh, and allowing in, allowing in more light that the plants and the garden will thrive. I hope you've enjoyed this little journey around Sissinghurst today. I've so much enjoyed sharing with you some of the work that we've been doing. And you know, it's only with your support that we can do this work to look after the garden for today and all the days into the future. So please, you know, come again and hope to see you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>